Okay, so this is algebra for Matthew C. So if you follow along so far, Matthew C is a hands-on. They use blocks like this from the beginning to learn the tens, the hundreds, the units, all the numbers like that. So it's a hands-on, so it's good for any kind of learner. So if you're visual, if you need to touch and feel or wiggle around, it's, it's great for um, small kids for attention. It helps you really learn the math concepts because you're building it, you're saying it, you're seeing it and writing it. Um, so if you have from the beginning, they have primer, which is introduction to to math. It's basically kindergarten. And then it's alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and it keeps going up. So if you did that from the beginning, algebra would end you in about eighth grade, pre-algebra and seventh. But it depends on where your kid's at because everyone's different with math. <laughs> so um, there is no hard, fast rule. That's why they don't have grade levels for it. Now this is the last one I can do for the Matthew C review until next year because my oldest is in this one. He's in eighth grade. So, um, and then I know it goes on, there's calculus, there's a stewardship one where it helps you learn things about what loans are, balance your checkbook, um, how to use your money wisely, <laughs> which is great when they get a little bit older. So, um, this is the same as the other ones as the student pack is the student text and the test booklet. And then the teacher pack has an instruction manual, which is a hardcover and a DVD. So it goes to 30 weeks as well. It has some extra ones because it's doing like extra problems here in the back. It goes up to 35 because you're doing graphing and things like that. Um, but you, a uh, regular school year is 36 weeks. So you have um, leeway to play around with, especially when you get up in these harder ones. So you can still use the blocks to help enforce things that you may need to understand with the algebra inserts. So use this in the couple grades lower with the decimals. So use them for the algebra too. So some kids may use them more depending on, on your child. Everyone's different. So it's the same concept of you watch the lesson on the DVD and then you go to the student workbook and then they have the pages to go with the lesson. So A and B and C, or A and B actually, I'm sorry, we're just starting this this year. A and B are the lesson practice. So they, those are the ones that you just learned with the DVD. Now when we get up to algebra, I have my son do all the worksheets because it's getting harder. And then C, the next day you do C and D. Those are the review pages. So you go over what you just learned plus the stuff from before. And then there's extra review E. And then they have for algebra honors pages. So you have an honors lesson. So if your child needs more or wants more, is a math whiz, loves it, there's extra things for them to do as well. So they can be challenged. And then so on and so forth. You have the DVD for the next lesson. Same thing with the worksheets. And then you have your test booklet. And it's the same way. Here's the lesson one test. Which is fun because now they do multiple choice. <laughs> As you can see here. Like that. But it's still the same one page. I'm trying to focus. Okay, there. And then they have the unit test and then the final test at the end. Um, there. And then for the teacher booklet, has all the answers, the answer key in the back for the workbook and the test. And then, thank goodness, there's the lesson plans that help you <laughs> help the parent to know what the child is learning and how to explain or how to help and could give you tips and help with that. So there is lots of help here and you can always go to the Matthew C website. It's Matthew C. It's spelled with the U here. MatthewC.com and then they give you tips, help. There's videos in case you need to know where, what grade level to place your kid in. It tells you what they're going to learn for this year, what they recommend you have. See right there, the algebra decimal inserts. Oops. Then here's a table of contents. I 
There's lots of graphene, lots of algebra. <laughs> So that's it. I love Matthew C. We've been doing it from the very beginning and it's very thorough and they make it fun and they relate math to real life. So it's not, I've never really liked the homeschool packs, the big curriculum packs that have all the subjects all in one. That's why I use a mix of different companies and different brands of curriculum for each subject. But since we've used Matthew C. all the way from the beginning, if it works, why mess with it? That was the best advice I got when I started homeschooling eight years ago is if something is working for your child, don't try to change it. Don't try to get there. Oh, there's something better out there. No, if it works for your child, use it. And then not all kids in the same family would, might not like it. It depends. But for math, the three that I have been going through math with so far, and they're all different learning styles, they seem to be doing great with it. So it kind of helps with all kinds of learners. So that is algebra. And then as I, as my son gets up to the other ones, I'll do reviews on those. So I hope this helps you out a little bit.